imperial building traditions they built a large temples they built a large temples so this paragraph we can see vijayanagara is uh, developed by the rayas shri krishna devaraya um, salva raya harihara bhutraya these are the rayas are developed and in their period they constructed the large temples virupaksha temple in hampi see here this is one of the lotus temple for sri virupaksha ramachandra krishna and vitala using a, a style that had been developed by chola pandya emperors of tamil nadu this included the <coughs> included vimanas and that dograms the rayas paid special attention to the dograms which were now built on the scale of height as never before it consisted of a first floor usually built of solid granite and series of upper floors made up of bricks and chunam these structures of immense scale must have been a mark of imperial authority that have often dwarfed the towers on the central shrine and the signal and the signal the presence of this temple from a great distance they were also probably meant as a reminder of the power of kings able to command the resources techniques and skills needed to construct these uh, towering gateways other distinctive distinctive features of including mandapas or the pavilions the long pillars corridors that often ran around the shrine within the temple so here they construct a lotus temple you can see the surrounding is here some mandapas are there they constructed uh, with this uh, big set uh, and soon um all day uh, now <coughs> at the time we are not to uh, use uh, cement soon um they can be used it uh, like stone they can be used at the time and next one see it was built in uh, krishna devaraya to mark this accession it was uh, decorated with a delicately delicately carved pillars he is also credited with the construction of the eastern gopram these additions mean that the central shrine came to copy a relatively small part of the complex the hall the halls in the temple were used for a variety of purposes some of the halls were halls were the spaces in which the images of gods were placed to witness special programs of music dance dramas etc others were used to celebrate the marriages of deity i do the others were means for the showing the replica of deities which are uh, distinct from those kept in a small central shrine while the vijayanagara rulers built these temples on the tamil nadu model they also Built a elaborate, elaborate uh, secular royal buildings, which were modeled on the style and the techniques of uh, Sultanate architecture. 
the famous lotus mahal named all so by british visitors queens bath and the the elephant is the stable sort examples of this style you can notice that the use of architectures of domes in the building they were carved with the chunam plasters and decorate with the elaborate floras uh, flor floral and uh, bird designs to so it appears that things are things uh, and their noble sleeve in these buildings and the displays their wealth and uh, <coughs> cosmopolitan taste however these buildings did not uh, just copy the design of these uh, sultan's buildings they combined the designs and the features of the southern temples with the arches and domes the best examples of this style is in the lotus mahal which was uh, probably a palace uh, with the the king with the the palace uh, with the kings held their meetings see at the time their construction and given importance to the palace at the time <coughs> the designs and uh, giving importance to the temples also of their uh, architectures and the uh, domes shapes the most of impressive remain of vijayanagara the mahanavami is a high platform of 55 feet that is as tall as a five floor building and spread over 11000 square feet in the area its heights were increased at early at least three times during 200 years the sides of the platform were covered with the sculptures of all various kinds it did not have a complete building on the top the platform was covered by cloth shamiana or the um, pandal supported by the wooden pillars the vijayanagara kings held their navaratri puja and durga and the dasara the dasara Both on this platform, all their subordinate chiefs, knights, and officers pay their tributes to the emperors in this program. Ambassadors, ambassadors from Europe and other sultanates also attended the festivals. So here in this, we can have a kingdom. the palace in that mahanavami dibba is one of the height is 55 feet and spread over the square area of 11000 feet square area feet are there and they are celebrated here some pujas some courts dasara court like this they are nayakas or emperors have attended these festivals next one gardens and courts and courts gardens courts and courts under this mughal architecture became more complex mughal emperors were personally interested in literature or architecture underlying here so here the mughals are interested Locals are interested art and architectures personally, and literatures also. In the Sato biography, Babur describes his interest in the planning and the laying out of laying out formula gardens placed within the 
rectangular walled enclosures and divided divided into four quarters by artificial channels these gardens were called chahar bags chahar bags underlined here four walls called as a chahar bags four gardens were because of their uh, symmetric divisions into four quarters beginning with the akbar some of the most beautiful chahar bags were constructed by the jahangir and shah jahan in kashmir agra and delhi underlined here chahar bags are constructed jahangir Shah Jahan in Kashmir, Agra, and Delhi. These were several important uh, architectural innovation, architectural innovations during Akbar's regime. Regime means uh, his kingdom. Underlined and right mean. For the inspiration, Akbar's architect. Artists turn in turn to the tomb of its Central Asian ancestors. Ancestors means their forefathers, called as a core we can do. Tombs means a samadhi of its Central Asian ancestors. Taimur, the central uh, towering tomb, and the tall gateway is that to uh, become. become important aspects of mughal architect architecture first visible in uh, umayun's tomb umayun is a son of the babar the tomb was uh, placed in the central uh, center of a huge formal chahar bag and built in the tradition known as a Eight paradises are Ashit Vishit, a central hall surrounded by eight rooms. The building was constructed with a red stone, sandstone, edges with white marbles. They are constructed like this. Their picture is given to you. Chair bars. A painting of a barber supervising workers laying out a chair bar in table. Note how the interesting inter interest intersecting the channels on the path create the characteristic chair bar. Design. Tomb of Humayun. Can see there is a water channel. Tomb of Humayun here. Their construction. Buildings and the rulers and buildings are lesser. So this all constructions is given to you. It was during the Shah Jahan's regime. Regime Shah Jahan's period kingdom. The different elements. Of uh, Mughal architectures were uh, fused together in a grand harmonious synthesis. His regime witnessed uh, a huge amount of construction activity, especially in Agra and Delhi. The ceremonial halls of uh, public and uh, private audience. Divani he pass or divani he hum were carefully planned. These courts were also described as chishin sutun or forty pillars all placed 
within a large four courtyard. Shah Jahan's audience hall were specially constructed to resemble a mosque. The, the pedestal on which is is a throne were placed was frequently described as a kibla. The direction in the the direction which Muslims pray since every body faced that direction when court was in the session. The idea of king of the king is a representative of God. On the on earth was suggested by these architectural features. A connection between royal justice and the imperial court was uh, emphasized by Shah Jahan in his uh, newly constructed court in the Red Fort at Delhi. Behind uh, the balcony of the emperor's throne, there were a series of Petra, uh, Petra Dura in place uh, that depicts the legendary, legendary Greek god. So here it's construction given to you about the Shah Jahan's period, their constructions. So a reconstruction from a map of food. Rivers from guarded city of Agra. Note how the garden palace of the nobles are placed on the both bank of the Yamna and the Taj Mahal is on the left. Taj Mahal construction also given. Next one. This is the Taj Mahal in Hagra, constructed by the Shah Jahan. Appears playing the flute, it was a believed that appears music could calm ferocious beasts until they resided together peacefully. The construction of Shah Jahan's audience hall aimed to be communicate that the king's justice would treat the high and the low as equals where all, all could live together in harmony. In the early years of his regime, Shah Jahan's capital was Agra, was it Agra, the city where the nobility had constructed their homes on the bank of the river Yamuna. Underline here, they constructed Taj Mahal nearby the bank of Yamuna River. These were set in the midst of formal gardens constructed in the char bark form format. Char bark format means a four walls or their four bay walls. The Charbad Garden also had a variation that students described that the river front garden, in this garden, that the dwelling was not located in the middle of the Charbad, but that it's at close to the bank of the river. So while we are seeing the bank of where four walls or uh, four gates are there. While we are seeing any gates or any ways, we can uh, see that uh, directly the Taj Mahal. Shah Jahan Singh adopted the river Trent Garden in the layout of Taj Mahal, the garden's grandest architectural layout accomplishment of his teaching here that white marble and 
molosium was placed on the trace by this edge of the river and the garden was to its south in the new city of Shahjangabad that he constructed in Delhi. The import imperial palace commanded the river front only specially favored nobles like his adjust son Dara Darashuku underlined here Darashuku one of the son of Shahjahan but given access to the river all the other had to construct their home in the city away from the river Yamuna. River Yamuna decided they constructed see some water decorated pillars and a stratus holding the extension of this roof in the Job Bai Palace in the Patepur city. They followed that architectural traditions of the Gujarat region. So the pillars are decorated. See these pillars. So these pillars are decorated. And Patipur Sikri, Rani Jod Pai Bhavan is. Rani Jod Pai Bhavan. <coughs> Once you see the children, here some pictures are given. While you are seeing these pictures, you can mind it, their construction style and everything. Around the same time, same time as the Mughals, the Kutub Shahi rulers of Golconda, Hyderabad. Golconda court in Hyderabad engaged in extensive building activity. These included construction of Hussein Sagar Lake, the Golconda court. A large number of gardens with the water channels and uh, and fountains, beautiful tombs of themselves, the famous Charnar and uh, Makkah Masjid were built during their rule. They blended Persian, Mughal, Lakhani styles. Here, yeah, blended means carved and followed the Persian styles. And here, Charnar, Makkah Masjid, and its remaining here, Hussein Sagar, Golconda Fort, these are under the rulers, their construction. We have a Kutubshya tomb. The Kuli Kutubshya tomb, they are constructed, you can see. These all are most monuments. Inscriptions, they inscripted these history. The monuments are there still, it is LA. Okay. And the architectural designs, different dynasties, people are there. And next one, the pathway set a Kutubsha tomb. The architectures of the Kutubsha tomb you can see here. So listen, children, this lesson completed, textbook also completed, try to see. Once again, I am repeating this lesson. So here, building temple most dancing. Now they are building temple, mosques, and tanks are there. They were also meant to be demonstrate the power, wealth, and the devotion of the patrons. Take the examples of this uh, Raja Rajeshwara temple and in inscription mentioned that it was uh, built by the king Raja Raja Deva for the worship of his god and the Raja Rajeshwara. 
notice how the name of the rulers and god are very similar the king took the god's name because it was an auspicious and he wanted to appear like a god through the rituals of worship in the temples and god the raja raja deva honored another rajeshwara you may have called that the tatkiya capital city of oracle was so designed as half the temple of swambu shiva at that center this was built by the tatkiyas to proclaim their power and status as independent independent kings the largest temple was also constructed by the kings and other lesser deities in the temples were god and goddesses of the alaisia subordinates of the rulers the temple of yes miniature models of the world ruled by the king and is a allies by they are worshiped deities together so here Tarkiya rulers they built the temples. The temples you know that thousand pillar temple and the uh, Ramappa temple and some forts. Uh, Rani Rudrama Devi fort like this it is there and some clan Jama Masjid constructed with the direction it is there. and uh, you know that here one of the construction of golden temple construction rulers okay so the reason and why the temples are destroyed why the temples are destroyed since the kings built the temples to demonstrate their devotion to the god and their power and wealth it is not uh, surprising that when they attack on other kingdoms they often targeted these buildings in the early 9th century the pandyan king sri rama sri vallabha and uh, invaded sri lanka and defeated the king sena 1 831 to 851 the buddhist monk and a chronic and a chronicler kamaka kutti noted that they removed all the valuables the status of buddha and the but and entirely the gold in the jewel the palace the golden images in the various monasteries all these the seized the blow to the pride of the simali sri lanka rulers had to be our and we says the, the next Simhalese rulers named Sena II ordered in this general to invade Madurai, capital of Pandyas, the Buddhist chronicle noted that the expeditions made a special efforts to find the destroy destroy the golden statue of this Buddha. So here they are uh, attacked on the kingdom. That's why destroy the temple. Here many members of their race, Sri Lanka, Sinhalese, Sena one, Sena two also. Similarly, in the early 11th century, when the Chola and the Rajendra one built the Shiva temple in his capital. He filled with that prized state and seized the defeated rulers. The list the list included that son pedestal from the 
Chalukya and Ganesha statue and several other statues of Durga and the Nandi statues from the eastern Chalukyas and image and a Bhairava, a form of Shiva and a Bhairavi from the Kalinga of the Odisha and Kali statue from this palace of Bengal. They are described as sultans. The sultan's name is Tazni Mahmud. And the uh, imperial style is a Nagaras period. And here, Lotus Temple also already I said to you. And uh, here, Queen's Park. Here, Queen's Park, uh, they built the Queen's Park. Their construction is there with the architectural designs, garden homes and roads are there, Charba Gardens, uh, Delhi. Mahadev here, Mahanavami Ipa, it is constructed. So, architectural designs also it is there. And next one, Chart Park Garden and Tomba Kumayu. So, these are the constructions are there under the picture Taj Mahal. Rani Jod by Bhavan. So these all are construction of there. And in a Kutubin, Kutubshat Tomb, architectural designs also it's given to So thank you children. So these all are very, very important. And you have to see the last one, map pointing. Telling on a map, world map, you can see and practice it. India map, and you can practice it here. Telling on a map here. Telling on a district also identify in this. The Telangana state symbols, everyone mind it. The first one. State animal is a spotted deer and a jinka. State bird is an Indian roller, palapita in Telugu. State tree is jammi chetu, jammi. State flower is a pangeru, pangeru puvu. So it's given to you, you can see state animal. Or deer, state bird, state tree, state flower, state logo, national flag designed by Sri Engali, Engali Vinkaya, national flag, national tree, Banya tree, national language, Hindi, national river, Ganga. National anthem written by the Ravindranath Tagore, National song Pandey Matram written by the Pandey Chandra Chatterjee. National calendar based on Shaka, Samastara, Chaitra, Masam, Kuti, Palguna, Masam. We follow the uh, Brigadian calendar officially. Next one, national symbol lion, the captain adopted from the Emperor Ashoka's Karma Stupa, established at the Sarna. National flower, lotus. National fruit, mango. National animal, royal, royal Bengal tiger. National bird, peacock. National aquatic animal, dolphin. National Heritage Animal Everything. Indian Standard Time AST based on 82 of degrees, Western Longitudes, our time is 
find the progress ahead of finish time. GMT called as a finish time. So this is our information. Children, now Long children, if you have 